This video is dedicated to using the connect checker on curves. Oftentimes, people forget to use the connect checker on curves when in a lot of cases it's absolutely critical. Now, when I go into connect checker, you'll notice that I have under source type. I have curve to curve connection, I have surface to surface, and I also have surface to curve connection. Right now we're going to cover the curve to curve connection. I select my two curves and you'll notice that I have a break in curvature. It's at 43.32 percent. And the curvature means the exact same thing here as it did in surfaces. It's a range of 0 to 100 percent. The closer to 0, the closer to curvature I have. The, clo the closer to 100, the closer to no curvature or just simply tangency or maybe just even uh, G0 positional. If I come in here now and click on G1, you'll notice that I have over half a degree. It's 0.62 degrees. Now, I also have the ability to go in there and check G0, and you'll notice that I have a, a slight little deviation. And this is telling me that the endpoints of these two are greater than 0, or my allowable deviation. So if I come in here and I mark this, let's say, 0.3, you'll notice that it washes it out. But if I have a deviation allowable of 0 .00, let's say, 5, again, I'm having an issue. If I zoom way up on this, you can see I have a slight little overlap between those two curves. Now, one of the things that I like to do for a quick check is to use this button right here, Overlap Defect. And this just shows me that there is a definite overlap. So by doing that, I'm verifying that there is an overlap. It's just a quick way, rather than having a zoom up, maybe you might have three, five, ten curves on this on a on a on a string, and you want to verify that there are no overlaps. This is a really good way to do that. Now, I'm going to select OK. If I take a look at this curve, I'm going to double click on it. You'll notice that I have a 3D curve associated to this curve. If I take this and I drag this all the way to the very end, you'll notice that my overlap is now gone. I've taken away my overlap. So let me bring back my tree. I'm going to double click on my connect checker. And now you'll notice that my deviation is at zero, my G1 is at zero, and my G2 is at 39%. So this is telling me that I moved my curve to the very end point and I've achieved very desirous results. You'll notice that there's no overlap. Um, G0 is good. G1 is good. And uh, G2 is just under 40%. So even that improved just a little bit. And that is how you use Curve Connect or Connect Checker for curves. Now, in older versions of V5, there was a tool called Curve Connect Checker. It was separate, but here they've combined them in later revisions of Katia V5 and in V6. It's the same thing.